welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Amy and this is Amy Marie Art. Week C. Week C is our cat in a crown with a clock with a candle and a caterpillar a coffee mug and some coins and I think I got it all. Week C is part three of the alphabet superset challenge. It was done by Struthless where every week our styles, our themes, and our mediums will stay the same, but each week we will do a different letter of the alphabet. So with all of the info out of the way, let's get stuck into it. Back again with week C. For any of you that saw my last week's video, week B, you may remember that everything just worked so good. There was no issues. I didn't have to fix anything, it all just worked. The case for this week, however, totally different. What you're seeing me do here is actually the second painting that I done this week. I usually like to use my own reference photos, so photos that I've taken myself wherever possible. The original drawing I had done was kind of made up of a mismatch of a bunch of different cats that I had found on the internet. I wasn't happy with my proportions. I didn't have a clear reference photo for where the fur should be, what direction it should be going. So I decided to have a look through my personal photos and found this reference photo of my old cat, Arnie. So I stopped the painting I was originally doing and redrew this one with Arnie. Time for a fresh start with a fresh new drawing. Or so I thought. The first problem I had with this new drawing wasn't really anything to do with the painting or the drawing itself, but more the filming aspect of things. We had about three days here where it was super hot, which meant I had to do some of my painting out in my kitchen where I could access the air conditioner. The lighting in my kitchen is completely different to the lighting where I normally paint, meaning the editing of the video took a lot longer than it should have because I had to color correct all of the lighting. And now for problem number two. Okay, I need to show you guys something. I've been painting this cat for about an hour now and I kept looking at the reference photo and I couldn't work out why it wasn't lining up. I thought maybe I've got my proportions wrong when I drew it. Um, anyway, so I just kept going with it, trying to make it work. I'm gonna turn the camera around now and you tell me in the comments if you can see what I've done wrong before I tell you. All right, here we go. Okay, here's the painting that you've been seeing. And here's the reference photo. Can you pick it yet? What I have done is when I was drawing it, I drew it from the way that the picture originally was, of course. But at some point, I flipped my reference photo without realizing and that's why all the markings and everything wasn't lining up. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the painting now that I flipped the painting around, the reference photo around the right way. Let's get back into it. Arnie is an orange tabby cat. For the first few layers on his face, I concentrated on where the stripes would be and also the direction of his fur. I then used a fine liner and some off-white paint to do lots and lots of little fur details. The next step after this is to add a light watered down glaze over the top of all these little fur strokes which will then stain them an orange colour as you can see here and adds that extra layer of dimension because the darks are too dark to be affected by the glaze. I decided to leave the face as it is for now and start blocking in the different colours on the body. I had already spent so much time on this painting and the painting before 
and I was starting to feel a little stressed as I was about two or three days behind my usual schedule. I was starting to stress out and luckily there are some amazing people on this Truthless community on Discord that are all doing this alphabet superset challenge with me. I went on to post and just vent a little bit and try to de-stress. And funny enough, I found that I wasn't the only one in this situation. There were quite a few of us that felt like we were falling behind. I knew I had to take a few breaths and relax and just get back to enjoying the process. I needed to de-stress, so I thought, let's put the brush down for now, go and make myself a cup of tea, and just relax. I have this amazing relaxation tea that I got from the Buddhist temple. I wish you guys could smell it. It is amazing. Now that I have had a relaxing tea, a bit of a play with the doggos and a very good night's sleep, it was time to get back into the painting with some fresh eyes. With the majority of the fur done, I now start adding in the shadows and a few more highlights to the white fur, making sure I overlap the orange fur. To make this top layer look feathery, I lay down the white paint quite thickly and then use a dry brush to feather it out. After many, many days of painting the cat, he's finally finished. Moving on to the clock now. I'm going to use a mixture of colours to create a mahogany wood and gold frame effect. Blending yellow oxide, red earth and burnt umber to achieve the wood grain effect. To paint the face of the clock, I'm painting the face with my mix, which is a mix of retarder and matte medium. It allows the paint to stay wet, so when I add in some brown earth, I can blend it out with a fluffy brush. I do this a couple of times to build up the antique look to the clock face. I know I said the cat was done, but I do want to add just a few little bits of wispy fur overlapping the clock. And then it's on to painting the numbers and the final details. Now it's time to paint the cat's crown. I used red for the material part with a bit of burnt umber for the shadows and then added some white and yellow to the mix for the highlights. To achieve the gold look to the crown, I'm using a mix of yellow oxide, yellow light and burnt umber and also a bit of white.
You may have noticed that in my original drawings, I had a bunch of jewels going across the base of the crown. And you probably picked up that I have now painted over where those jewels should have been. And of course, this was totally because I thought it would look better without the jewels and not because I was running out of time to get the painting finished. I am keeping the pearls in the little clover flowers though, because they really do need to be in there and it does complete the crown. I'm now base coating the coffee cup and then after doing the lid, I decided I didn't like the base of the coffee cup, so I went over it with a fawn. Once I had done the lid of the coffee cup and it's that rich brown color, I just felt like the original base color to the cup clashed a little bit. It was just a little bit too yellow. A few highlights to the lid and it's time to paint my little coffee beans on the cup. I thought this was a really cute little touch. And it's another C word, isn't it? Speaking of C words, there's quite a few coins there. And to do these coins, I'm painting it in a mix of yellow oxide and yellow light. And here comes the letter C. Not really hidden in this one. Although I did actually forget to put the letter B on last week's painting, but I have added it after the fact. Actually, it's not the only thing I forgot on B week's painting. I also forgot to put the bow on the bow and arrow. Thankfully, somebody pointed it out to me and I also added that in after I had filmed the video. I guess this just goes to show that no painting will ever go perfectly smooth. There are always going to be little hiccups that sometimes nobody else notices except for ourselves. And this is why I have left my mistakes in my paintings and in my videos. I like to show you guys that it isn't always perfect and it doesn't have to be. This painting may have had a fair few hiccups along the way. At the drawing stage, with the painting and even with the filming and the editing. But in the end, I am still really happy with this painting and how it's turned out. So let this be a reminder to all of you who are scared to post what you paint or scared to paint in the first place. Pick up the brush and just have fun with it. You'll probably find that you will enjoy the process and you'll end up with an amazing artwork in the end as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I had a bit of a headache doing it I still ended up really liking the picture with that being said I'm now off to start week D and boy is it going to be an adorable painting I've got the drawing all ready to go and it is so cute no prices for guessing what animal I might be doing starting with D but anyway as Struthless would say, catch ya.